Good afternoon, YouTube Pipe Community. This is Chris Maracle with New Age Pipe Smokers. I am doing my uh, video response to Philly Piper's 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, my favorite pipes. Um, I'm doing uh, artisan, workshop, and factory. Not in that order. Uh, so first up, I'm going to start with um, factory pipes. I got to say that uh, for the money, I think Stanwell does the best job. Um, just consistent quality. I've never had a problem with any of them. And there's some unique stuff out there. For example, I have, uh, and this thing has no markings on it, but look at that green. And I love the, I only buy the Stanwells with the metal inlay. There's just something about that that I, I thoroughly enjoy aesthetically. But this is almost 360 flame green. I've looked it up. This is actually a Stanwell shape. Um, great smoker. Decent clencher. It's a little heavy. I mean, it's a big chunk of pipe. Um, and next, this is my first Stanwell. I love this thing. It's a trio. Um, I mean, the aluminum's got some... It's aluminum, it corrodes, that just happens, but it's got the metal inlay. And this is just a just a cool little pipe. It smokes great, I only smoke vapors out of it. It's just a great pipe, pardon my dirty hands, I'm at work. And their bathroom was being used. Um, and then there's the Stanwell that I, I brought with me today to smoke. This is a Sterling, and this thing is just, I mean, look at the green on that. It's a beauty. So from what I understand, back to this one, um, I guess st all, the, all the research I've done, I can really only come up with, this was made by a visiting carver. I guess they would have carvers visit the shop. Um, some of them turn into regular lines like the Non Iverson and the, um, I think that's her name and the Paul Winslow's and all those. Um, I think this is just kind of a um, sort of an offshoot of that where somebody came in and made one of their shapes and uh, somehow it made it into the world without any markings on it. I don't know, it's a really badass pipe though. I mean, the, there's some awesome bird's eye at the bottom. It's, I mean, it's just a kick-ass pipe. So, uh, I only brought one uh, workshop pipe, um, and it's a Radice, and uh, I, I just think this pipe, the finish, it's one of their marquee finishes, um, and I think it just exemplifies their creativity and quality. If I can get this bit off so you can see it. Which I can't. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, it's a, uh, a Radice Silk Cut Hawkbill Twin Bore. And this thing is just a beauty. It's a pleasure to smoke. Um... And that, I mean the grain all the way around that, the color, that shape, come on. That's a beauty. Um, I love Radice's, I have a few of them. Uh, I have a Canadian. Uh, they just make all around beautiful, well-smoking, well-crafted pipes. Um, so on to the Artisan pipe. My favorite, Carver, and I'm gonna go uh, there's no least favorite with this guy. Um, it's just more favorite. So the first one is a billiard from Sutherland Pipes. And I'm just not taking the bits off anymore, by the way. It's just taking up too much time. So it's a standard billiard, but there's some things about it that make it really stand out from any other billiard. Those lines the transition here where he chose to actually really try and make the bowl look like it was its own separate piece 
this whole this line right here and it comes to a point right here and it is I don't have anything flat to show you but I'm telling you that when you set this down it just tilts this way or this way and it sits and it's not a fluke because Mike Curtin has one of these too and his is the exact same way and these were both they're all of his pipes are made all by hand Bakelite stem um, his staining is just top-notch and um, the precision on this it's machine precision crafted by human hands he's uh he's a master um this thing is and it smokes great uh the draw is as open as like a, a cob you know the cobs have that wide super wide uh draw the next one that from him is another billiard that he made for me um and it's special and unique because it's Morda and Briar. And again, just attention to detail. This one doesn't sit. Um, I think it's just the nature of the, this is a little more top heavy, uh, but still the lines, the transitions, it's just straight lines. Again, with the really accentuating the, the bottom of the billiard, keeping it looking like it's its own separate thing. I mean, that thing is, it smokes amazing. Um, it's super light, but it's, uh, it's still solid. This is a solid, solid pipe. And that brings me to the final work of art by this genius of a carver. And that is the Sutherland Pipes Overbent Smooth Twist. And this thing is just an absolute work of art. Look at that. This is my favorite pipe. Look at that. That is just amazing. The grain structure. This is so well thought out. The, the choice of grain so that it actually, you know, or the choice of the actual block of briar. So where it, it was, a, you know, a curved piece, but it looks like the it was actually physically bent and he made it to look naturally like it was, it had a 120 degree twist on it. This mosaic pin inlay, it's like brass and I don't know if that's stainless or some kind of, I'm not sure what that is, but it's it's just a beautiful inlay. The draw is perfect. He drills these himself. He's created some sort of contraption, uh, we think or it's well-trained briar worms. Nobody really knows but him. Um, but I mean, look at that, Cumberland stem. I believe that's also Bakelite. I mean, that's just a, that's just an amazing pipe. And uh, finally, just because I said I would uh, in, my, in, in my videos uh, featuring a tamper, and going along with the Cumberland theme, this is a Vowen. I believe they're called automatics. Huh? It's pretty sweet. And it it locks. You push the button again and it closes. And it's got a little poker in it. So anyway, that's my virtual uh, reply video to Philly Piper for his 500 subscribers. Congrats, man, that's a huge milestone. Um, your videos are awesome. There's so many and I haven't gotten through all of them, but every single one I've seen is great. Um, you got a lot of great knowledge and experience and uh, yeah, just uh, making the pipe community that much better. So thanks for being around and I will catch you in the next video.